not swept wings. Try again to not be so wide. I move more things towards the center of gravity again. Okay, so I have a feeling we're still going to do some flips. say that this little jet plane is on the bottom. So that's how it controls. Okay, no front flip and we're running out of liquid fuel. This is progress. This is progress. We haven't front flipped. Oh man, and I can move this to the other side. So it looks like it's supposed to look. This is actually flying. It hasn't front flipped yet. Got three jet engines going. The only tricky part is when these little jet engines run out of fuel. I don't know if this single one will be enough to keep this whole thing going. Probably not. That's why I really should switch some of these tanks. Not bad. It flies good. Look at that. Launched pretty good. It flies pretty good. Got my jet plane on the bottom. Had fuel lines that would solve a lot of problems. Well, look, we're going 170 and it's stable at that speed. I was having trouble going over 100 before, so it's pretty good. Thing of beauty. I think what I'm going to do is add some of these little jet engines. Because when I go over mountains like this, she doesn't have the power. the speed, plus I want to go faster anyway. And I figure if I add a couple more of these engines on the wings or something, uh, maybe one down here so it's front heavy. Maybe move these back, and I'll put another one back here. So I turned off SAS, so I started nose dive immediately. I'm hoping, I'm hoping as it runs out of fuel, it gets more back heavy. That's what happens, right? That one runs out first. Oh, this is so much fuel in here, I'm never going to use all those. I wish I could put more than one engine on those tanks. Uh, anyway. Yeah, there's so much fuel in there. We do have to go all the way around the world, so... I'm going way the wrong direction. Basically, what I'm worried about is by the time these two little tanks run out, there will still be so much fuel in the main section that it'll be too heavy to fly with one engine. If I add a couple more rockets like that, and by the time they all run out, I've gotten farther because I can use less throttle at the same speed. And by that time, hopefully, these main tanks will have run out enough that one engine's enough to make it glide. That's the hope. I'll be able to get some more speed, which is nice. These swept wings are definitely making me a lot more maneuverable. Allow me to go faster. Uh, I want to 
Let's see how fast we can go. I also need to test out the jet, mini jet staging real quick, so let's gain a little bit of altitude. I like this thing now, this thing flies pretty good. I don't even have elevons on it. So altitude. And we'll launch a mini jet and see what happens. And we'll keep the throttle on the big jet. Let's see if it keeps going by itself. It worked. And that kept going. <laughs> Look at that. Awesome. That's so cool. It works. It works. It's working. Sweet. This is totally gonna work. Just a matter of refining the design right now, getting enough fuel. Get a more jet engines on there. Holding. It'll just take like five days of your lifetime to fly all the way over there. No problem though. Okay, I added more fuel tanks in these columns. I moved these back. I added more jet engines and fuel tanks on this side. I added these on the edges of the wings. So I'm gonna more control. Something is staged. I don't mind like putting extra wings on it because then it will come off later. So, let's see what this thing does. Boosters are too uh, high up and down. I also need to flip like that. Right now. We'll get control of her, don't you worry. She's a beaut. She's a beaut to fly. Did we lose some engines? I believe we just lost two jet engines that we wanted to keep. So I have to go fix the staging and move those boosters inward. Alright, once again, for the second time. Oh boy. This, this again.
might be too much fuel tank for these little jet engines. I'm not sure. even just one of these tanks. That plane goes far by itself. So I'm going to see how far I can go on this one. I think this one might have an actual chance by the time these four tanks run out here. Maybe these three will be run out enough for this to power it. Alright, so I'll check back in then. One more quick beauty shot here. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Okay, these engines here, that's supposed to be the bottom of the airplane. So when those launch off, I'm not sure. Hopefully they don't cause any damage. Okay, so I turned off SAS for a second and it actually started to pull back. So it might be slightly back at the end. Cool delta shape like this, but then we get to the front. Ah, uh, it's kind of ugly. <laughs> that doesn't really... Yeah. Besides that, pretty cool though. Pretty cool, hopefully these side engines come off okay. They have wings, so... That might slow them down from hitting the plane. This thing is going nice though, I haven't touched the controls for a couple minutes. Well, a little bit here and there to correct it, to keep it flat, but... It is rock solid stable. Actually, it's, it does have a tendency to pull up over time. So, I think I'm reaching my service height here. I'm starting to stall. Weighted a little bit more forward, it would be perfect. But it's pretty good. Let's see if we can make it like this. Oh, I totally forgot that in career mode, I should have put parachutes on those boosters so that when they fell, I could recover them and get some of the money back, but whatever. Just did a rough estimate, guys. I think we're gonna have enough fuel to make it there. Just barely. We'll see. We're getting closer. Started over here. Get them all the way here. And we're like halfway. And we're about half the fuel on these first tanks. Doing pretty good. I honestly didn't think I was going to beat this earlier. If you watched all the videos up until now, you'll see why, how many times I failed. But I finally realized you can combine the space center and the rocket center and use both the parts with each other. And that way I, I was able to have a detachable mini jet. I don't have the detachers in the plane hangar yet. I only have them in the rocket center. Alright guys, we're going to be running out of fuel pretty soon on these first state on these extra small jet engines here. Of course the main fuselage is still over three quarters full, way too much fuel. But we basically have arrived in 
and I can just launch my mini jet from here. So I think I'll just avoid detaching these little tanks and having them explode. And I'll just go straight for the mini jet launch. Oops, I shouldn't have done that in 4x. I forgot I was on fast forward. It's a good thing it didn't explode. Pretty lucky, really. Alright, and where's our Debris? Oh, let's see it. Oh, there it is. It's a lot slower than I am. It's probably tumbling. I wish I could see it close up. It could still be flying. <laughs> the engine's on. Alright, so. This little bad boy. <laughs> I love these little jets. They can go forever. I didn't realize how fuel efficient these little jet engines were compared to the liquid ones. I could probably fly halfway back with this thing. So I should be e easily be able to go to these four points. Start easing her down. Lose some altitude. Get ready to land. Complete the mission. Did I already go buy one? Almost. I need to... Why can't I see them? That could be a problem. this thing. Oh my god. Great. I took a bunch of weight. Let's see, I turned a bunch of these big. These each weigh two, and these little ones each weigh like 0 0.2. So I took away a decent amount of weight. Didn't need nearly that much fuel. Should be a little faster and easier to fly. A lot, a little less back heavy now. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully, I don't crash when I get there this time. That was really stupid, but uh, I guess I was confused when I was crashing because I couldn't see the points on the, on the ground where I was supposed to be going to. So uh, anyway, I'm going to try again and see what happens. Might as well watch the staging, I realized. Oh boy. <laughs> so flip this guy over. I put the fin on the correct side this time. Seems 
a little more neutral in the air, which is nice. That actually looks better from the back too, I think. That's pretty cool. I moved these two engines from the body to the wings. So now all four engines are on the first wings there. Let's get going in the right direction, shall we? So now I know I'll have plenty of fuel. And I just have to be very careful and land before I think I need to, land ahead of time when I get there. And then decoupling worked perfect last time, so I'm just going to move this stage up to be next, and I'm not even going to risk decoupling these engines and having them blow up. So, yeah. I'll see you guys when I get there. So, apparently time warp really doesn't like my airplane. <laughs> Unfortunately. I'll show you what happens. I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna have to move these engines back to the center. Seem more stable that way with time warp, I guess. So watch this. <laughs> oh, okay. That's too bad. Oh well, I'll try to get this front thing skinny too, the front tank. Just a lot of work to get the wing off and the, because the crew hatch is mounted to that one and so it's kind of a pain in the butt. But I'll get that switched. Another skinny one. It'll look better, it'll be lighter. And I'll move these engines back to the main body. I guess time warp. Yeah. Okay. Just have to launch it with SAS on. Uh, it sort of is. Oops, it is not working. Okay, one more try. This one, once again, for the second time. Okay. Okay. Careful, does it? We have time, we have revisions now. Skinny fuselage looks better. But what I really want is to be able to time warp without it going all crazy, crazy. Those engines are just for taking off purposes anyway. Just to get me off the ground. Because it's going to be a pain in the butt to get off the runway. In fact, it won't even fit on it until I upgrade it. Okay, so. Um, oh, I put the engines in the wrong. Place, didn't I? Did I? I don't know. We'll see if it works, I guess. Alright, I'm after changing it. It's still front heavy. So I'm going to fix that. And I forgot to put fins back here, so I have a lot less control than before. But let's see what the time warp does. Oh, yeah. So I don't know why. <laughs> God damn it. 
What am I supposed to? It was working before. I should have saved that model. That one works. Damn. Okay, one more try. She'll go. Perfect, just like that. Oh, it worked, guys. Look at this. Since I don't have the launch stuff yet, I made my own structure for launch structure. Just out of airplane bits. Look at that, it sits nicely. Let's see if it launches as nicely as it sits. Oh, that's why, because the other engine isn't firing. Always check. Always check your, uh, you know what. These things. The engine always goes up there. This goes down there. Okay, I think this one might possibly could work. This is all crazy right now. This one and that one and those two. We should be good to go. Yeah, there. flips that tend to uh, be a curse on the glider here. this design. I forgot to put fins on these things again. Oh god, look at those fins. Okay, so we're still doing backflips. Um, not sure what that means. Front heavy. Tail fins are not helping. Seeing as they're not straight. Let's see uh, if time warp gods are friendly to us. No. Man, that sucks. I lost that design that worked with time warp. What the heck? That sucks. I really don't want to fly all the way back there without time warp. Great, I decided I guess I'm going to fly all the way back there without time warp because I don't know I don't feel like figuring out why time warp won't work I'm just gonna have to like clean my room and figure something else out to do while this airplane takes like an hour and a half maybe it'll only take like half an hour 40 minutes it's gonna take a while but I'm not gonna time warp it because I can't it's got the center of gravity all fixed up, so it should be it should fly pretty good without these boosters on it now. Oh, here comes the front foot. That means it's 
time to take off the boosters. And the top one is staying with us once again. And it is flipping us backwards. Thanks. Did it detach? What is going on? Get out of here. Alright. Okay. See, it looks much better with that skinny fuselage, doesn't it? I'll put the extra wings on here now for more control. And it has quite good control now. It is pretty bouncy now. My only guess is that this. Well, it's. It's not as stable as it was before. It's bouncing. If I turn off SAS, oh, it's good now. Now it's smooth. Look at that. It dives a little bit. Like it needs a little more weight in the back again. I thought I had the weight figured out. back a little bit, I guess. We're just keep on his hands. Uh, still dives. I guess it's better when it climbs by itself than when it dives by itself. And this thing, the space hanger wouldn't let me put it on straight this time with the skinny fuselage for some reason. I don't know. This is not going too good. back more 